Hey, it's Sally, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to password protect a Microsoft Excel 2016 workbook. So here's an example. This is just a template that I downloaded from Excel. So say, for example, you have a budget or something that you would like to keep confidential. You don't want uh, somebody to just be able to open the file and view what you have in it because Excel is a really handy way to store a lot of information. Uh, so so you probably want to be able to protect some of that just from somebody randomly opening the file, especially if it's on a shared computer or on a shared drive. So I have my spreadsheet here. I've already saved it to my desktop. Uh, so what I'm going to do to throw that password on here is I'm going to click on File and then go down to Save As. Uh, yours may or may not look like this. Uh, yours might pop up a save window, but I'm going to click on more options just in case yours looks like this. So from here, so it's it's uh, saved as an Excel workbook. So what I'm going to do is go down here to tools and I want to select general options. So this is where you can set your password. So go ahead and type your password. So there's one password that you have to type in to open it or if you want uh, if if you want people to be able to actually just view what's in there but not change anything um, you can you can leave this password off and then just leave a modify password but if you want to require them to type a password in to open it and to modify uh, you can type that right here you can also set it to read only recommended if, if you so choose to. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to enter that password one more time. And remember, if you lose it, you are out of luck. So don't lose the password. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to type this again because the open and modify passwords can be different. And actually, if you're going to set two different levels of access, that might be a good option for you. So click OK, click on Save. Yes, I'm going to replace it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and shrink down. So I'm going to go to my, my desktop here. I'm going to open it. So now when it opens, it prompts me for that password. So say I type in the wrong password, it won't let me. So let's try again with the correct password. And here we go. So that way my workbook is password protected so I can control who can access it. So I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website at sallyu.com. And have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.